It's God. God hates whatever. Isn't the whole thing God's supposed to love everybody? Like, why would he not support you doing anything you want? Because God loves you, right? Yeah. But he also says, if you love me, keep my commandments, obey me, come follow me. You see, I was out here, and I didn't understand the love of God. But when the love of God touches you so real, you know you can't be the same. If, if you have a true encounter with God, I'm telling you, none of you would be the same. This isn't about religion and trying to be good by yourself. But when the Holy Spirit touched me, I was never the same. But when you say, do what you want, that's a very satanic belief. Because just like the person that shot up the elementary school, they were having that same satanic mindset. But God is holy. He said, he puts these laws not to condemn you, but he puts it to set you free. For you to live in, in a clear conscience that is guilt free. God has touched me, actually. I don't know if I mentioned this. Yeah, see, the devil, he comes to steal the seed. You're, you're an agent of Satan. God hates whatever. Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rakakadash, all praises to the world calls God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. By Hashem meaning in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say divine honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the whole like preaching word and the truth of sincerity. I'm a brother Tazabah in a great millstone Arizona camp. Blow a will with another video to edify and uh you know, here you have it. Here you have it. You you heard the video a little while. I'll put this in the description. Uh but the woman's stance is if if God loves, then why doesn't he just support me in everything I do? Well, there's several fallacies in, in your statement, right? The Lord is a is a balanced power, right? The Lord, the scriptures tell you the Lord. Is it just wait? This is a. Uh, Proverbs 11 and 1, right? It's not going to be all love, all right? Proverbs 11 and 1, a false balance is an abomination to you, how? but a just weight is his delight, you see? A false balance is an abomination, so that all love doctrine that people preach is, is false, right? The scriptures tell you that the Lord... This is a uh, Psalms five and five. It says, "The foolish shall not stand in in thy sight; thou hatest all workers of iniquity." So the Lord loves and He hates. That is the entire balance. You can't have one without the other. So the Lord what loves the righteous. And he hate work he hates workers of iniquity. This is the true balance of the scriptures, and this is what you can't get around. This is what you cannot get around. Now, another thing that she said, right? And they asked him, and the dude was like, he said it truthfully. If you really love the Lord, it's gonna cause you to change. Right? But you heard somebody in the background say, but is that really love? Yeah. If you if you love somebody enough, you're not going to sit here and keep doing the things, right? Because the scriptures tell you, love worketh no ill. This is Romans 13 and 10. It says, um, I'll start at 9. It says, it says, for this, thou shalt not commit adultery. I started eight. It says, O no man anything but to love one another, right? For he that loveth another had fulfilled the law, has hath fulfilled the law. Now, what is love? The scriptures tell you love is the keeping of the commandments. Do quoted it in the scriptures, right? It says, verse nine, it says, 
For this cause thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any co other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, Lay me, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. A love working no ill towards his neighbor. Right? And all those things in verse 9 were telling you what is the ill that you can work to your neighbor. Right? But you have people out here saying love, 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 but they're still doing the things that are against these things. They're committed, they're committing adultery, they're, they're bearing false witness. Right? They're still killing niggas. Right? That nigga, uh, uh, NY Millie or whatever it is, his fucking name is. Right? YNW Millie or whatever his name is. He killed his own friends. Says, thou shalt not steal. You got niggas stealing from each other. Bearing false witness. Coveting. Just plotting on how to take something that's not theirs. Right? So back in verse 10, it says, love, love, uh, love working no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And that's what the love is. Right? But if you're not fulfilling the law, you can't say that you love the Lord. You can't say that you love, that you know the Lord. Um... Let me find this one. This is, uh, golly, come on. This is, uh, first John two and four says, and he that said, I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in. Him. So you can't say that you actually have any true love unless you're actually doing what the Lord commanded. Right? But the Lord never gave you an ability to just go out there and do whatever you want. Because this 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 so-called sense of love that the world promotes. Love isn't just supporting everybody in every damn decision that they make. That's not love. Somebody could want to sit here and, and, and shoot up heroin. And through love, you know they ain't got money, so you go buy the heroin for them. That's not love. Right? This is um Sirach fifteen Ecclesiasticus fifteen and uh twenty and says he had commanded no man to do wickedly, and neither had he given any man license to sin. So there's no free will. There's no doing whatever you want because the scriptures tell you that the heart, right? Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 9. It says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So do whatever you want. Right? You're what, you, what you believe is right ain't always going to be on par. Remember, the, Paul even said it himself. That which I would is that which I do not. And that which I do is that which I would not. Meaning, he's always constantly having that war of, of doing the right thing but fucking up and doing the wrong thing. Right, well, for people in the world that don't have the knowledge of the Heavenly Father, they just do a bunch of wrong. Right, they do a bunch of wrong and think it's right. Right. Um. There's one. Spelled it wrong. Yeah, it's, here it is. Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 22. It says, Moreover, this was not an. Uh, I got to start up, actually. It says, um,. Verse 21, it says, and this was an occasion to deceive the world for men serving either calamity or tyranny did ascribe unto stones and stocks the immutability, 
incommutable name. Talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Shai, right? It says, um, moreover, this was not enough for them. It says they have erred through the, they have erred in the knowledge of the Most High, but whereas they lived in a great war of ignorance, those so great plagues called they peace, and and these people are in a great war of ignorance. And in the midst of all the wickedness that they're doing, they're calling these things peace, right? They think love is love. They think they think left is right. But the Lord has a proper way, and the whole world is going against that proper way. And they have no understanding of what real love is. And it's always the nigger woman. It's always the fucking nigger woman. God hates whatever. Isn't the whole thing God's supposed to love everybody? Why would he not? And the Lord doesn't love everybody. The scriptures tell you the Lord doesn't love anybody, all right? Otherwise, when the Lord was on the scene, all right? Why did he say, at least, he should, at least they should be converted and he should heal them? Because he didn't want to give everybody the truth. The Lord does not love everyone. The Lord even said it himself in Isaiah the 40th chapter. Let's get that. says um here it is Isaiah 40 and 15 it says it says uh behold the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as as the small dust of the balance right if you consider a drop to the whole of, of which is in a bucket it's nothing right if you consider the small dust on the balance to the, the to the lump of whatever substance you're weighing, it's nothing. It says, Behold, he take up the aisles is a very little thing. Right? I'm gonna jump down to verse uh, 17. It says, All nations before him are as nothing, they are counted unto him less than nothing in vanity. Right? The Lord doesn't love, right? Everybody, it says, um, this is, um, loved. This is, uh, yeah, here it is, Jeremiah 31, and I'll start at 1. It says, at that same time, say, Yahweh, I will be a God of all the families of Israel, right? And they shall be my people. And he didn't say he was going to be the God to the Ammonites, the Ishmaelites, the Moabites, right? The Edomites, he said he was going to be the God, the power of Israel, which are his people, right? It says, thus say Yahweh, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. Yahweh had appeared of old unto me, saying, yeah, I have loved thee with the everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. See, the Lord didn't open that up to anybody else. The Lord loves Israel. He doesn't love the other nations. All right? But just a quick video. Um, Lord will put this in the description. My brothers can make a response if they want. Um, Lord will unsatisfy them. Say, call Halal. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Kakadash, Shalom.